In this edition of Red Sox Academy, we're back with Jared Saltalamaki, a catcher for the Red Sox. Since the Buster Posey injury, we talk more and more about the right way to block the plate. You talk a little about blocking the plate the right way. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the, probably the most things, the uh, most important thing we work on, you know, because that's where you can really get hurt, is that play at the plate. Um, and even from a young kid all the way till now, it's always the, kind of been the same thing. You're always taught to protect your hand and protect the ball. So you want to catch the ball, put it in your glove, and hold on to it. And then I've always kind of been taught the way of, you know, show them the plate, and at the last possible second, you take the plate away from them and turn. That way they hit the left shoulder and you're turning off, and you're not taking the full blunt of just knocking you out. Hopefully they're rolling by you after that. Hopefully they're it makes you look really good, too. All right, Kyle, come on in. Uh, we're going to talk about blocking the plate with Jared. How you doing again? Jared. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, number one important thing is you always want to show the base runner the plate, okay? So you start off with the guy hits the ball. The first thing I do is I look at the third base coach, and if I see the third base coach giving the, the arm to go home, I know he's coming home, so I start to get my setup. So you want to get about a foot length away from home plate, and you want to show him home plate so that base runner sees it the whole time. So he sees it the whole time, that way you know he's going to slide. And then secondly, you want to get as low as you can, almost like you're in your catching stance. That way you can't get any bad hops. If you're up high, it, you get caught in a bad situation where you're going to get hit and you're going to get hurt. So you try and get as low as you can, get your glove on the ground like an infielder, because at that point you become an infielder. All right, and at the last second, you want to step in, keep the ball in your hand inside your glove. And if you have to go to your knees, you want to go to your knees sideways. That way if he hits you, you go sideways. Where other guys get in trouble, they get in front like this, and the only thing they can do is back. So you want to step in, keeping your left foot right down that third baseline. You don't want to get caught up like this, and they roll over you, and then you tear your knee or your ankle. So keep that foot towards third base. If you catch it, keep the ball in your glove, swipe them, and turn out of it. Simple? Yep. You got that, right? All right, ball's coming in, stay low. Ball in your hand, there you go. The only thing, that was perfect, just forgot to step in. Here you go, you show him the plate, so he sees the plate, he's gonna slide. At the last second, you step your foot in. That way you're taking that plate away, and now he slides into your foot. And you just drop the, the glove on him. Try it again. There you go, get down, crouch. Step that foot in, there you go, perfect. Good job.